In today's very socially connected internet climate, most organizations will have social media policies. These will balance what the company's requirements are with social media with allowing people inside of the organization to take advantage of the social media. These policies are usually an extension of the company's code of conduct. They expect employees to take personal responsibility and to make sure that what they're putting over social media is something that the company can represent. Part of the social media policy is to also make everyone aware that confidential information is not to be shared over social media, especially for public companies who have legal requirements to make sure that only public information is made available outside of the company. There's usually a very specific company spokesperson, and they will handle any public comments made from a public company. Many organizations also have policies for the use of their business email accounts. Some organizations will only allow the business use from a business email account, and others might allow a mix of both business and personal. One of the goals is to prohibit any type of abuse or disruption in the workplace due to messages being sent from a business email account. There might also be compliance issues associated with this. Some organizations are required to limit any personal mail from a business email account. It's also good to document exactly what business email means. If somebody accesses their Google email account from a browser, does that count as personal email or business email? All of this needs to be documented and well-defined in the personal email policies.